Hi everybody, uh, my name is Melina, but you can call me Melly, and uh, I want to welcome you to Wonder Melly's English Planet. Um, I'm an English teacher and I love teaching. Uh, right now we have a situation around the world with the coronavirus, Ooh. Um, and I can't go to school and I'm very sad and my students can't come to the classroom. Um, and I'm sure it's the same situation with a lot of you. So I thought, let me bring the classroom to you. Um, with my students, before we took a break, we were talking about parts of the body. And this was my beginner English class. So today we're going to talk about parts of the, of the body, but we're going to concentrate on the head and the face. Are we ready? All right. Uh, students, what is uh, this part? Oh, the face. This is the eye. Uh, how do we spell that? Any ideas? So we have E, Y, E. So that's one eye, but how many do we have? We have two. So we have one eye, two eyes, right? Okay, good. Next part that we're going to talk about, what is uh, this, students? This is an ear. How do we spell it? E, A, R. One ear, but how many do we have? We have one ear, two, two, two ears. All right, so we have one ear, two, E, A, R, S. So two ears, one eye, two eyes, one ear, two ears. Good? All right, my students. Next, we have this part. What is this part? This is your nose. I'm not touching it. This is your nose. Okay, so your nose. We spell it N O S E. Your nose. Good? Okay, what do I have next here? Oh, students. Is this right? No, this way. Uh, this is your mouth. Notice, students, it's not mouse. Where's the mouse? No, we don't have, I don't have a mouse here. It's not Mickey Mouse. It's your mouth. Mouth with TH sound, okay? So let's do it. M-O-U-T-H. Mouth, yeah? Say it with me. Mouth. Good? Okay, so what is this that we have inside the mouth? We have teeth, teeth. Notice the TH, oops, sorry, my hair keeps getting in the way. <laughs> teeth, okay? Not teach, teach is what I do. <laughs> teeth is what we have inside the mouth, okay? So we spell it T E E T H, teeth. Notice, students, this is the plural. We have, how many teeth do we have? I think 32, okay. I think it's 32 teeth, yeah? Um, but how do we say it if we have only one? One, maybe a baby has one. So we say one tooth. So we spell it. So I'll do one T, O, O, T, H. 32 teeth, one tooth. Okay, students, I'm going to teach you a little idiom, a little expression in English. When we say that you have a sweet tooth, my sister has a sweet tooth. When you have a sweet tooth, you like cake, you like candy, you like ice cream, you like donuts, mm, anything with sugar, anything sweet. So the expression is you have a sweet tooth, not a sweet tooth. Not sweet teeth, it's not all of them, it's one tooth. Uh, so we say sweet tooth. Good? So, all right, what do we have next? Okay, students, we did our ears, our eyes, our nose, our mouth. Ooh, what about our mouth? What are these two things? These are lips. <laughs> so we have two of those. So we have two lips. L, I. P, S, 
for the ladies and whoever wants to wear it. Uh, lipstick, that's where it comes from. So these two are the lips, okay? So we have one mouth, 32 teeth, and two lips. Good? All right. What about when we say everything together? This part. This part is our face. How do we spell face? Any ideas? So we do F. A, C, E, our face. Um, how many faces do we have? We have one. Sometimes people, hmm, maybe two. They say something nice and then they say something else behind your back. So maybe it's two faces. No, we have one. Okay. So we have one face. Okay. Plural is faces. So all your beautiful faces at home. Um, I wish I could see them, but. Maybe soon when this is all over. Um, all right, my students, this part. What about when I'm sick and it's inside here? It's my, it's my throat. Students, this is important because sometimes when we're sick, our throat doesn't feel so good, right? And we need to take medicine or we need to go to the doctor. So how do we spell throat? Any ideas? T. H R O A T. That's our throat inside. Okay? But what about this part? Everything together is our. This one. It's our neck. Not our neck, our neck. So how do we spell neck? It's N E C K. Our neck. So remember students, throat inside, neck outside. Um, everything together is our head, okay? Everything, and we use the neck to move our head, okay? How do we spell head? Do H E A D, head, okay? Um, but students, sometimes I have um, people who tell me, teacher, I'm very confused. This is the head, but what about this part? This part is the hair. It's not the head, but the hair. I have a lot of hair, oh my goodness, to do something with this. Um, how do I spell hair? Any ideas? So hair, H-A-I-R. So let's do, let's practice pronunciation, students. Let's do this. Head, hair. Head is everything. Hair is this part, okay? All right, so we have head, we have hair. What about this part, students? Sometimes, ooh, this is important now. Um, one of the symptoms of coronavirus could be fever. So when your temperature is high, sometimes you do this. I'm not touching it, but um, you can, your mother maybe does this. What about this part? What is this part right here? What do we call that? Maybe my students don't know because this is new vocabulary, but um, that part we call the forehead. Do you know how to spell it? Any ideas? It's F-O-R-E-H-E-A. D, the forehead, so maybe this part you didn't know, the forehead, okay? So students, now, look at me, this part right here. Any idea what that's called? Those are called the eyebrows, and we spell E, Y, E, B, R, O, W, S eyebrows not eyebrows because sometimes people put eyebrows it's not eyebrows eyebrows this part right here yeah okay students when you close your eyes this part right here where i have my makeup these are the eyelids do you know how to spell it do e y e l i d s eyelids Right here where I have all my makeup um, also where I have makeup students this part these hairs right here we call those our 
eyelashes. Um, do you know how to spell it? So here we go. We do E Y E L A S H E S eyelashes. Yeah. So let's do it. Forehead, eyebrows, eyelids, eyelashes. Okay. So I'm gonna do a few more with you. Uh, this part, students. What is this? That is your cheek. To so you have one cheek, two cheeks. So how do we spell cheek? Uh, I'm running out of room. <laughs> so C H E E K one cheek, two cheeks. Yeah. Okay. Students, I know that in a lot of countries, when we say hello, we kiss on the cheek. Sometimes it's one kiss, sometimes it's two kisses, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four or more. I don't know, it depends on the country, but we kiss on the cheek sometimes to say hello. Please, 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 students, right now, we're going through a difficult situation in the world. We cannot say hello with a kiss on the cheek. Please don't do it. Don't do it. You don't want to get sick, okay? Um, you can say like this. You can say like this. You can, I don't know, do whatever you want. Rock on. Whatever. You can bow. You can do any other hellos. But don't kiss on the cheek, please. Okay? All right. Here we go. Um, so now we have our cheeks. Um, this part right here. Do you know what this is? That's your tongue. Do you know how to spell it? So, it's T-O-N-G-U-E. Your tongue. Yeah? Students, can you touch your nose with your tongue? I'm going to try it. Here we go. That's your tongue. This part. Okay, um, all right, and what more do we have? I have one more thing for you today before we go. Uh, students, this part right here, do you know what, that is, what that's called? This part right here, and I'm not touching it, it's called the chin. How do we spell it? It's C-H-I-N, your chin, okay? Students, I'm going to teach you another idiom. One idiom that we say is chin up. Chin up is when you're having a difficult situation and maybe you're sad and things are not going the right way. We say to our friends, chin up, be happy, okay? If we're like this, you're gonna be sad. Chin up, so I'm gonna write it here, chin Chin up, everybody, yeah? Okay, so let's do a quick review of everything that we did today before we go, all right? So here we go. We have one eye, two eyes. We have one ear, two ears. You can't see it, two ears. Then we have one nose, one mouth. Remember, T-H. We don't say mouse, we say mouth. I'm going to do another video about the TH sound soon. Uh, we have 32 teeth, but one tooth. Um, if you like candy, if you like sweet things, you can say you have a sweet tooth, okay? Uh, we have two lips. Um, everything together is our face. Our throat is inside. Yeah. This part right here is your neck, right? Your neck moves your head, which is everything, but this part is your hair. My goodness, on my hair. Um, this part, your forehead. These are your eyebrows. These are your eyelids. The hairs right here are your eyelashes. Um, what else do we have? We have our one cheek, two cheeks. Don't kiss on the cheek, students. Uh, then we have your tongue. And then we have our chin. So students, 
please chin up, okay? We're in this together and we have to help each other. So if you enjoyed the lesson, pl please um, hit like, share with your friends, um, share with your classmates, tell your teachers, tell your parents, tell your sister, tell your brother, tell your ex-boyfriend. No, don't tell your ex-boyfriend. We don't want him to learn English. I don't know, tell anybody <laughs> you like and um, get ready because I'll be making some other videos and you can su subscribe or you can uh, hit like or comment in the comments below um, any topics that you would want me to talk about and, um, and I'll make videos about that too. All right, so see you next time. Bye.